Hey there, Hokies. Once again, time for the GDP, but not just any game day preview, the biggest that college football has ever seen. I'm John Laser. He's Mike Burnup. We prepare as you do for the battle at Bristol. And Mike, before we talk team specifics, we just have to talk about the environment. Bristol Motor Speedway, it's going to be like nothing anybody's ever seen before. That's because it's never happened before, Lays, <laughs> and that's going to be fun to watch. This thing has been in the making, it seems like, for 20 years. I can remember Coach, talk, talk Coach Beamer talking about it way back in the day. It's really been intense the last two or three years, but it's finally here. It's game week, game day, and we're so excited to be a part of it. Two schools that haven't played together much, but they're so just like equal distance, and uh, it's going to be exciting and fun. Well, let's look at Tennessee, that other school that you're talking about. Hokies have been very respectful throughout this week in talking about Liberty, but also very candid about the fact they're taking a big step up in weight class from their first opponent to second. And I think it's fair to say that to beat a team from the SEC, specifically Tennessee, you're going to have to value the football a bit better than they did against the Flames. No doubt about it. Four turnovers will get you beat against most teams, but against a good team, it'll really kill you. Especially when they gave the ball up that one time at the 10 yard line and, and obviously that's that's monumental so that's big uh, Tennessee's a really good team they won their last six games last year they were nine and four five and three in the league they're a top 10 team to start the season everybody thinks they're going to challenge for the SEC East uh, the games they lost last year they didn't lose one by more than seven so they're really good talent you look at their roster lays nine starters back on offense eight on defense it's senior 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 junior I mean they're really Really, really good. Great quarterback, good running back. Heard is like 6'4, 230. I mean, they got a big, talented team, and the Hokies are going to have their hands full. Mentioned Jalen Hurd, and of course, Josh Dobbs is the other big time name, the quarterback for Tennessee. Bud Foster's lunch pail defense looked like the defense of old against Liberty. Again, you're stepping up in class there. They succeeded, however, at making Stefan Masho one dimensional. And we saw App State succeed in making Josh Dobbs one dimensional. How does Bud Foster do the same here at the Battle of Bristol? Well, the line of scrimmage will be absolutely huge. You want to get pressure on the passer. And, but clearly you want to shut down the run and make them one dimensional. And that's what Bud was able to do last week. That's his number one game plan all the time. You know, last year they only had 10 interceptions. That was the lowest in the Bud Foster era. Had three Saturday against Liberty. Those are the kind of things you need. And a lot of that pressure starts up front. Those front guys are, make such a big difference in what happens on the back end of that defense. They were able to do that the other day when Stroman had two interceptions, Edmonds had the one. So they had a good plan last week. They'll have a good plan this week. They only gave up 160 yards lays. Think about that. And two of 15 on third downs, the money down. Boy, bud, his guys were dialed in last week. That's the kind of effort they're going to have to have this week. There's an offensive and defensive preview for you for the battle at Bristol. Now Mike and I are going to get back to our primary concerns, where we're going to park, and also how many pairs of binoculars we're going to need to bring. Buddy, we'll see you in Bristol. Hokies, we'll see you there as well. That has been your game day preview.